So this is a true story. It's really true. My father, who you took advantage of, you know, after he did all that shit for the NYPD, for the city of New York, the stress he put on, tell you what he did now. Dad, I love you. He had learned that my, my CIA boss is the CIA. He, he became aware of his, uh, his, his, his status and within the CIA, the guy who he caught on. And that guy used to instruct my father sometime what to do to save my life. Like a lawyer and everything. Because my father really was being blackmailed. He really was in a tight jam. This is the truth. It, it, you'll understand it one day. What they did to him and Mary Immaculate, and the night, it don't make a difference. It, it make my father look bad, like he's part of something, like he's a cruel man. But he, you know, so it, let me tell you what's going on now. Those naval houses I grew up in, that you were imitating, right? But you know, <laughs> they got me with Dawn's relatives up in here. My stepmother, this who brought in the COVID, I spotted them now. That's who's coordinating the COVID and, why, and being able to see people's progress left and right. You know, this is serious. And everybody's house is connected. No matter where your house is in Suffolk County, they all lead to each other. So what happened was, because think about it, at some point in time, you're going to you're gonna need a nanny at your house. If you're not putting a nursing home, you're going to need some kind of home health attention. Just think about how America's set up. That's if you're not putting some kind of senior living. So just think about it. Your day was bound to come. But anyway, so I was sent, I, I sent myself to Plainview General. And it was not a great experience. I spent two weeks there, whatever, whatever. My father squeeze it in through a beautiful segue so nobody saw it coming. That man is a phenomenal genius. He is phenomenal, my father, by way and direction of my old CIA boss who said, Jeffrey's going to need this. Everything now makes sense what my father was saying to me. And that's why he said they went with the flow when Cindy Kane was fucking him up, killing him. He was like, don't worry, I don't understand it. This is the best motion picture thing. But it's not about motion pictures, but still. Right? So what happened was, one day I was in my bedroom, after I came home from playing with General. I was out in mind of my business. I still was a little stiff and uptight, but I, I was home. And... Something has said, Jeffrey, walk down your staircase and upstairs from our bedroom. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to Almighty God. Now I understand the joke. But the seriousness of this, under the direction of my old CIA boss, who figured out what everybody was and gave my Mars family a gift, I told my father what to do. And... As I walked down the staircase halfway, where Brittany fell, but in the basement, my father's looking out the, the living room window, and three Hempstead cops are walking across the lawn and shit. And I barely caught their legs. It's nighttime, too. And my father simply said, Jeffrey, they just want to talk to you. Now I get it, man. I get it now, man. Oh, I love these men. I get it now. Naval houses. Yo, I don't care, man. I don't belong here. And that's why some people along the way have said, yo, man, you don't belong here. And it makes me feel good when you beat out a stinking Jew girl. I'm sick. I'm dying. But you inherited something trying to imitate the Mars household. And that's how you keep invading and infiltrating other people's household. And I'm not letting you do it to other African Americans who don't even see it coming. You're trying to kidnap people's kids, make them, that's right, after African Americans' kids, 
who wouldn't even see the shit coming because they ideally perfected it on my father and me. And though I'm through with you niggas, I still got to do you a favor. That's what my cousin Kevin said, race war between white and black law enforcement. I didn't know what he was talking about, my cousin Kevin, who is very sick right now. He's bad. He's worse than me. But um, so what happened was uh, somebody just walked by trying to get me annoyed. Like he's a white man. I don't know who it was. So, this is supposed to be my house, though. How I'm supposed to be treated, basically. This is where my mental illness comes from. You people are just stupid and fucked. You can't get out of shit. So what happened is, get back to the topic. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I saw their legs, and my father said, like I got, I put foot in shock. So my father observes them in shock at this point in time. And he says, uh, Jeff, they, they just want to talk to you. In the house comes a, um, a psychiatrist, like, but he's a CIA. I love these people, man. Like Dr. Nasir. I never forget to now understand this shit here. Jeffrey, you are a genius, Jeffrey. Jeffrey figured it out. Jeffrey figured this shit out. Jeffrey figured it out. You are playing with fire now. And you were jammed up court. You did still like like you could repair this damage you caused me. This we at that time now. You know, whether you're ready to give up cures or not. But I'm gonna you're gonna get convinced sooner or later to, to behave and snap out of it and come back to the old America. Cause we see all the domestic church, I see it all now. Right? My old CIA boss was doing this stuff for the CIA. And he passed that knowledge. There's a whole lot of tricks, but anyway, we get to my point. So a, sh a doctor comes in, a large Indian doctor, but he looks generic and shit, right? And, and my friend Marvin Phillips had a problem where he said Jeffrey looked like a fake cop when he got arrested. I said, Marvin, and I got mad at my friend. Like, what do you mean? He said, Jeffrey, he looked like he was a fake cop. And turned it. So I understand something. He was very large, like Dr. Nasser, before I even met a Dr. Nasser. Remember I told you I met a Nadia Andre? Before I met a Nadia Andre. And shit, I swear to God, that's right. Who would play those videos of my stepmother uh, basically putting pampers on me almost when nobody was around. And shit, <laughs> basically. But she just won this woman wore contacts and shit. And they hooked me up. Woo! They hooked my ass up. Cause they had to turn Metropolitan Hospital into a makeshift Surrey Lane. Except dudes were grabbing me. One looked just like Guy Williams, remember? Mm. And shit. You hear me? No. <laughs> it's a federal, look at this shit here. That's how they raid your mind and your kids. But everybody's house is linked together. You, they're gonna get to you and your kids eventually. At some point in time. You know, apparently, as soon as they found that 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 week, that time you blink as an African American law enforcement, after they finish using your ass, you don't understand it. Your kids are going to get swamped. So, and so I continue to walk downstairs, and my father, the doctor, in the Hempstead PD, and he lets a shot man in. Like I'm on the AOT, but I understand the joke now, Jeffrey. I understand it. Like I was wondering why that shot me. I was laughing. He said he's going to get it. This is all undocumented too. And my brother and sister law was not there. That was the thing. They didn't. They normally they be the ones who say your dad. We're gonna. I understand it now. Just to protect his little boy, Jeffrey. 
by order of my OC. This fake ass doctor comes in here with it basically talking that bullshit. They set his ass up. Took him out, taking blood. They just no, that's not how it works. I swear to God, I don't care. You bit you people the object was to stop this shit, get me out of here. But hey, I don't care no, I fully don't. It's right on time. I don't care no more. I just don't care any fucking more. And shit. You killed my mother. You killed my father. My father had understood. He took it like a champ. But anyway, so when I get down to the bottom of the staircase, the empty cops were there. There was this one guy who, he took me to, I think, Mercy with this black cop the first time. <laughs> That's where my first CIA psychiatrist hooked me up. And they just hooked me up, said, listen, your father's in a lot of stress. And he, they talked to me and told me some shit, right? So now he's back. And so I didn't have no uh, shoes or socks or something on. So I, I start to go back up the staircase. And when I tell the story before, it's a little different. But now I understand what he was doing. And that's how life is sometimes. You understand, like, oh, shit. And that's what happens. That's part of being in the CIA, too, how you survive shit. Because they already know when you're coming. I don't know how they know, like the Adjustment Bureau, and that's it. That's why I got an extraterrestrial. I don't have to answer to you. And to tell you the truth, it leads to a trap for anybody who follows me, who uses me for that particular moment. For that, It's going to backfire on you. Your whole America is going to collapse. It's a booby trap. I don't care. And I'm willing to die. I'm, I'm the best Black Panther in the fucking world. And shit, so anyway... Damn. Um, so I start to go back upstairs because I know the routine. But I want to make sure I, I like this time I'm a little more decent because I felt bare. So as I go upstairs, that one white boy cop, he could have been, you know, he may not realize what he's part of. I don't think he did. He just didn't realize it. You could tell he's like from Garden City or some shit. I don't know why I say that. You can just tell. And he didn't get to, and that's, I'm going to tell you what happened. It's my house. I'll go back up the staircase. My father's right there. I never get. And I said, uh, let me go put on. And he actually started to chase me, like close uniform pursuit. And my father, and that's where he said, oh. My father said, no, no, no. Who's had rank over him. But then he said, no, there's no need for that. But they found out who he was. I mean, they understood it, what the problem is. And he followed me up to the top of the staircase and stood on the threshold of my door where, like the doctors do, just to watch me put on some socks or something. Like, you know what I mean? He, he was heady out. He had it out for me. I understand it, you guys, now. God bless your hearts. Because they was trying to understand something. I know them niggas now, man. How this shit works. Before it even happens and shit, Jeffrey. So we go back downstairs. And I was smoking cigarettes at the time. New, oh, Newport 100s. And I had this, there was this uh, thing in the Florida room. This ashtray that so for somebody's wet my father got. And they surrounded me. But at one point what happened was. Your pre-doctor and ass said came upstairs in my bedroom. I never forget this shit was weird. It was weird. And what happened was he entered my bedroom that was pretty much clean at the time, ironically. And I had just got this charge from Plainview General. I never forget this shit, the way they rehearsed this shit with perfection. And Naval, how you fucking, I don't give a fuck no more. I really don't. Using my Britney, Gabby's my niece, my niece Britney. This shit is embarrassing, Jeffrey. This shit is fucking embarrassing. And what happened was, I had a carbon copy. And I actually understand 
that particular carbon copy from Plainview General. Everybody else discarded my other um, carbon copies. Everybody from hospital arrest who said, I get it now. And they timed that shit with percent. They understood it. I didn't have much in my bedroom. I had that burn on the carpet and shit. I remember. But the doctor came in. Like he lives there. They tested it all out. Jeffrey, I love you. I actually love you. They tested it out. Said it's fucking true. They're going to do this to these people in the future, Jeffrey. It is fucking true. My father was that kind of a genius to get out of it and keep his legacy up for the NYPD. James and Kiki was not a part of it. I Now I understand it, motherfucker. And on my radiator in Clearview, that was the only document I had out was that thing from Plainview General, the discharge of carbon copy. And the only thing it said was EKG. I didn't have to take no medication. Cause they said we don't we don't know we don't see anything wrong with you. I just got out like a couple of weeks before. But they found out some you can see they know you. The CIA is working. You people are in trouble, man. You had me smack myself in the head. You are in trouble, man. Damn, you're in trouble. So, um, you better fix my kidneys. You better call Dr. Warman. And you better squeeze out of him, yo, what the fuck is up? Because some, some of you are immune to uh, COVID. And that's the truth. You mix it up with people with masks and shit. You healthy, you act like you scared of that shit. I know you now. My stepmother brought this shit in, man. Through the Mars household, this is more extensive than I ever fucking realized. And shit, that's what's going on. So what happens is, um, which is why my sister's a doctor, her daughter. So what happens is, or, um, Jeffrey, I can't believe this shit. And then um, the doctor comes in, the size of Dr. Nassir, he had an all black, it's just me and him in the bedroom. I don't really recall anybody like really behind him, like escorting to make sure I don't do nothing. And I was really stiff. Like, am I gonna go back to the hospital and shit? Cause I didn't do nothing wrong. They was testing something out. I found out that they really gonna start invading houses like this. Oh, I, mm, I love my CIA boss. He is my father, that blue eyed man. That's why he hugged the shit out of me, said, you gonna get it now. You got it. Now I understand this shit, Jeff. I'm not joking with you. So when the doctor came in, he came in closer to me and I was actually afraid of him to see that document. Though it said EKG. I was actually trying to protect it and shit. Like hopefully he didn't see it. I actually, but they knew what's going on. That was the object. Jeffrey, when you make a movie, if you survive this shit, niggas are going to clap and say, yo, this shit here is phenomenal and shit. Yep. And, but I'm trying to hide it. I'm 23 years old, about going on 20, I'm like 24, I think. And I don't want him to see it. I don't know why. And he says, uh, what happened to your last one? Was it the last thing been hospitalized? The same thing that people do to me. This is my house. I'm not on AOT and shit. None of that shit. And I'm under like due rest. I'm, I'm in. My father said, "Go ahead, and check them out." But to figure out, I understand. I'm gonna tell you everything. I'm not hiding nothing back no more. And he, you could tell he was. I was, he knew I was hiding something. And I said, uh, plain view general, like I'm scared. He said, what did they say? And I'm like, nothing. Like, I didn't know, cause I don't want to go back. Then he said, what did they give you? And it's right behind me, the, uh, the carbon copy. 
And I said this, he said, can I see it? I never forget this shit, Jeff. And I was in complete shock. And that's what they needed to make sure it, I don't understand it just yet. Since you keep keeping me in psychiatric shock, every time you guys say medication, my eyes get dilated and I understand it now. This is a major thing for the FBI and you people who keep acting like I get it now. Anytime someone must have interviewed me, I'm going to walk you through the whole process as I'm alive because it's, you no, know, I'm going to tell you how it works. And I said, he said, can I take a look at it? I said, yeah, he said, where's it at? But it was right behind me. I said, right here. And he went over and looked at it where it's clearly said just EKG. But I know what that shit was about now. Now I understand, I understand what's going on. I understand that shit, man. And then he walks out. Then we all go downstairs, Jeffrey. Get it? I still don't know. No, it's the truth. You fucking with men. And that's what I hate about your gay asses and you fucking women. You've been abusing me, doing shit to me, and my stepmother from Jamaica is very wicked and shit, and this is how we... Come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. Word. So we go back downstairs in the dining room in front of the Florida room. And the shot man is there, little short white dude. My father's there and the doctor. They're just looking at each other talking. Nothing's going on. You could tell. I can see it now. They took him out. Yeah. You confirmed it, Jim. I can see it now. My father has his hand over his mouth like this. Because you know that's how cops are. He's trying to figure out, is this shit going to work? Is it now? Now I get it. And so I'm smoking a cigarette. Somebody had just taught me recently, some nigga on the street, how to, uh, how to extinguish a cigarette with your fingers. Like you just kind of squeeze the, uh, the burning part. It doesn't burn your fingers if you do it the right way. Some shit. Some shit that some nigga on the street, you know, it amazed me a little bit. But I was so timid that I was trying to put it out. And the dude started, the shot man started laughing, you know me. They saw I was in straight shock trauma. And that's how they can track me down and know where I'm at out of all zombie psych patients. You get it? I blend in very, very well. And that's what's fucking your heads up. You can't really tell us apart. Well, who's getting the attention who's not? Now I get it. And shit, I was under straight shock. Straight shock. My CIA boss is across the street at this time. I was in straight, straight shock. And he wanted to understand what was going to be, that's what's going on. So when I tried to put it out with my fingers, I, it was not really successful. And I think it was a, the shot man or somebody, or my father gave him, somebody gave me the ashtray that my father, it was more, it really wasn't supposed to be used as an ashtray, it was. My father uses it for display, you know what I mean, for decorations. But they were like, yo, put it out here. But the shot man started laughing, saying, this, this motherfucker's under a tremendous amount of shock. But that's how I can be tracked. And basically blend in and camouflage where people don't understand it. To see where I go, to better understand you motherfuckers. I don't care no more. And they laughed. And then when they laughed, when he laughed, a Long Island Railroad train, Garden City is the closest train station, you know, go, uh, uh, it, it, that shit didn't make that sound. I'm trying to think, it's closest one of like Garden City, but for some reason, that shit got loud. And these waves came by and it over, overpowered us. And it's like almost like it was across the street. And it was very haunting. It was really haunting. There's a Long Island Railroad. I guess it's Mineola. I mean, it's Garden City. Or him, I don't know how. It, 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 not, I always heard that sound. Not the bullhorn from the fire department. That, that warning, no, this is the, 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 the train. 
And everybody noticed that he damaged it a little abnormally. But it was really haunting. It was kind of funny, but haunting at the same time. And then um, they left. <laughs> they left. They did all that shit and left. And then went back up to the top of the staircase. And my father at the bottom, where Brittany fell, where Teresa McDermott was killed, based upon not, but it's not the basement, it's upstairs. He said to me, um, I was just making sure you was all right, Jeffrey. And because people are watching, Joe, this shit is deep. Whether it's Germans, we don't know what the fuck. These niggas figured it out. What's next for you, motherfucker? Now what you gonna do? I told people upstairs, stop dropping objects in this fucking hospital like I was raised this fucking way. I, now I got you unless I pass out. Whatever you do, uh, I get really sick. Which Warman said, he, that's right. You better go fight. You better, they took my, you better go call that motherfucker. It, I'm telling you, it doesn't make a difference. Thank God, Mr. Nichols. Woo. Thank God. And so by the time I moved him out and shit, his, his, his house was empty. There was no need for me to really be there, which I always was wondering, why did he do that? You know what I mean? But he, Tavares, I don't know, Tavares was like retarded. He hugged the shit out of me and said, you want to get it now, Jeffrey. Don't make, don't make a difference. You got some shit coming to you, motherfuckers. And I'm happy about it. You know, I don't care. You did some damage. Dr. Warman did something to say there's a fucking cure. And in TSI, and somebody made this game interesting and up the ante. I said, fuck it, do, do what these people said now. And TSI brought themselves back. They won't let, their people are abusive, man. That FBI, they won't let that shit go. And now they're willing for me to die. Whether I'm the CIA or not, the CIA got me covered is an important thing. And you are stuck. You don't know, you keep basing upon black man, white people, no, you don't understand it. And I don't understand why that white man loved me so much. I don't. I don't, I don't really understand it. Unless you do to be president or some shit. I don't know it. I don't know why. Like most white people, like there's a certain point. No, that's the point. He showed me that I love you, man. And you don't know who's who anymore. Stop fucking with me. Give me another house door shot. Keep playing with me, Trisha. Keep playing around with that shit, man. You stinking ass people coming in from Philippines, where are you from? You got some shit coming to you. And I'm, I'm big, I'm more better than a mafia nigga. And I'm happy about that shit. I'm happy about it, nigga. What you doing, your big, big bosses is about to catch bad ones and shit. When you mafia to help you get under control, nigga. That's it, you can't do anything about it. That's the point. I, you know, I'm happy about this shit, man. <sighs> Woo! Ooh. Thank you, Jesus.